Good morning, guys. How are you guys doing? Good. You're doing good. Are you happy to be here? Yes. I'm happy to. It's actually my first time doing children's story. So I have a really exciting story planned, but I need you guys to pay attention, OK? Can you guys do that? Perfect. OK, my question to you guys is if you like washing dishes. Does anyone like washing dishes? Raise your hand. Oh, we have some. OK. And why do you guys like washing dishes? It's clean, right? Anyone else like washing dishes? Yes? Because you have to use soap and water. You use soap and water. Emma? And then you wash them. You wash them, right? So does anyone not like washing dishes? Who doesn't like washing dishes? I don't really like washing dishes. Why don't you like washing dishes? Because it's gross. It's gross. <laughs> yes? There's kind of dirt. There's kind of a little bit of food left. There's food left, yes. You get kind of dirty. You get dirty, good. It takes forever. Takes forever. Emma, you like washing dishes, but you don't like washing dishes too? Yes. <laughs> OK. So what happens if we wouldn't wash dishes? What would happen? We would get germs and get sick if we don't wash them. Right? So the house would smell dirty. Would you guys have any clean plates to use? Probably not, right? So I was washing dishes this week, and it kind of reminded me of how similar it is to our walk with Jesus, right? Because sometimes we get dirty with sin. Does anybody know what sin is? Who knows what sin is? AJ? Like, you do, like, bad stuff, and you... Yeah. When we let Satan into our hearts, right? So what are some examples of sin? Does anyone have an example? Sophie? Lying? Lying, that's a good one, yes. Killing. Killing. Stealing. Stealing. What about not listening to your parents? Do you have an example of sin? No. No? Okay. <laughs> so some examples of sin, yes. Uh, tricking people. Tricking people, that's a good one. AJ? Um, murdering people. Murdering people, okay, that's a pretty bad sin. So. We have sins like if we are not nice to people, right, or if we lie, if we're not listening to our parents. And is sin clean or is sin something really dirty? Really dirty, right? And it gets into our heart when we let sin into our heart and becomes dirty, right? Is there any way to make it clean again? How do, can we make it clean again? Soap and water. Soap and water. Okay. Following God. Following God. Praying. Praying. Rena stole my idea. Okay, same one, yes? Read the Bible. Reading the Bible. What about inviting God into our hearts? Those are great answers. Mm -hmm. So do we ask God for forgiveness when we sin? We do, right? So I have a demonstration for you guys. I want you to pay close attention, okay? Okay, so let's see what we have here. So here we have, here's a glass of clean water. Do you guys see this? Yes. Does it look clean to you? Yeah. Would you guys drink this water? Yeah. Okay, so this water represents when we have Jesus in our heart, right? And God's love in our heart. It's clean and he's there, okay? And what happens when we let sin into our hearts? Remember what I told you, that it becomes dirty? <laughs> so... Now, sin has come into our heart. And what happened to the cup? Can anyone tell me? How does it look? Black. It looks black. Would you guys drink this if I told you it was water? No. No, right? It looks really dirty. Can you guys see? <laughs> so, do you guys think that this water can become clean again? Yes. Can it? How can it become clean? Yes. When you read the Bible and 
and um, follow God's um, plans. When we follow God's plans, we read the Bible, and we can ask God to come into our hearts and forgive us, right? And then he can fill us with his love and his spirit, and it can become clean again, right? Yeah. So let's see if it can be, could become clean, actually. Let's try it out. So let's see if we start pouring God's love in our hearts. What do you think is going to happen? And what happened to the black water? It's clean again, right? Can you guys see this? Okay. So I want you guys to remember, whenever you have sinned, there's not anything that's too dirty that God cannot forgive you for or can clean, okay? And there's a verse in the Bible I want you guys to remember, and we're going to put it up on the screen in a second. It's from Psalm 51, verse 10. As soon as they put it up there. Okay, and it says, Create in me a clean heart, O God, and put a new and right spirit within me. So I want you guys to remember this prayer, okay? When you're asking God for forgiveness, for, he, for him to come into your heart and make it clean again, okay? Did you guys learn anything today? Yes? What did you guys learn? Yes. AJ? Reading the Bible. Reading the Bible can do what for you? Follow God's plan. Okay. Yes? If you sin, God can make you good again. Perfect. Yes. Sophie? God will forgive you. God will forgive you. Emma? Can God forgive us for our sins? Yes. He can, right? All right, thank you guys so much for listening. You can go back to your seats now, okay?